I have liver disease. I have liver disease. I have liver disease. I have a mission, a mission to change those numbers and to save those lives. That's why I'm proud to have this opportunity to tell you about the Walter Payton Center Guild. You see, behind those statistics, there's hope. And where do so many patients and their families find that hope? Where can you find hope at work every day? Right here at the University of Illinois Medical Center at Chicago. The Walter Payton Liver Center and the Bobby and Marvin Fink Liver Clinic. And each of these essential institutions is supported by the Walter Payton Center Guild. Because of the work of the Guild and its members, the battle against gastrointestinal and liver disease is being fought and won. Because of the Guild, surgeons and researchers have the tools they need. Because of the Guild, patients have access to the quality health care they deserve. Because of the Guild, we all have hope. And everyone who comes in contact with the Medical Center has a story about what the Center and the Guild have given them. At age 26, LaWanda Brown was blessed with five beautiful children. While other mothers her age could look forward to the joys of raising a family, that was more than LaWanda could dare hope. LaWanda was ravaged by liver disease. Her weight had gone from 140 pounds to 300. On Thanksgiving Day, her cirrhosis had become so intolerable, she just wanted to die. Barring a miracle, she would not live until Christmas Day. That miracle happened. A liver had been found for her, and the transplantation was performed that day at UIC. That Thanksgiving had given Lawanda plenty to be thankful for, a gift of her own life, and the joy of guiding her children through theirs. Walter knew him as Mike from Ottawa. Readers of the Morris Daily Herald know him as an entertaining sports reporter. Friends and family know Mike Conniff as a cheerful guy who faced liver disease with grace, never feeling sorry for himself and never knowing if or when he might receive a liver. When diagnosed, Mike could only cherish any time he would spend with his infant son, Ryan, and hope he would live to see his daughter, Sarah, graduate from high school. Thanks to a donor and the care provided by UIC, Mike has been there for Ryan growing up. And not only did he live to see Sarah graduate from high school, he will soon see his daughter graduate from college. Desperately ill, Hiram Alton decided against a liver transplant. He had lived a good life and didn't want to take the opportunity away from a younger person. That's the kind of man Hiram is. He served his country in Vietnam, organizes yearly toy drives, and he first learned about his liver disease while donating blood. In the end, only relentless persuasion from his wife Julie, a professional nurse, and his doctors could convince Hiram to have a transplant. But no one could convince him to live life on anyone else's terms. After a rapid recovery, he got back on his Harley and took off on a 2,000 mile road trip because that's also the kind of man Hiram is. Stories like these are being told every day. Breakthroughs are taking place, new discoveries are being made, new surgical procedures are being perfected, lives are being saved. And it's made possible by the work of the Walter Payton Center Guild. Thanks to the Medical Center and the Guild, we all have hope and so much more. I have my family. I have stories to write. I have the open road. I have my work. I have hope. I have my life. And I have a mission, a mission to make certain that our doctors have the tools they need, that everyone has access to quality care they deserve. Above all, at the Guild, our mission is to save lives so everyone with liver disease will be able to say, I have a future.
Will you contribute to their future? Will you help us save lives? Together, we can all make a difference.